Sound speed. Marker. Action. Check, check. Check, one, two. Son of a Sound speed. Action. <sighs> and hello everyone, this is Thomas from True Audio. I want to say welcome to True Audio Presents. This is our new show where we talk to all of the different manufacturers <coughs> about the different products that they have and all of the new things that are going on. For example, right now, we have a new holiday, holiday sale that's going on at True Audio all the way up until Christmas. So if you guys are interested, a lot of the things that we're talking about today are going to be part of these holiday sales, and we have a bunch of different products that are in there from different manufacturers. So we'd love for you to take a look at that. And when we're talking about all these different holiday sales, we want to make sure that you know that True Audio is all over the place. It's everywhere that you are. It's, we have five different locations all around North America, two in Canada, and three in America. And one of the greatest things about this is it allows us to be open longer. We're not open nine to six. We're basically open nine to six in three different time zones. So if you're working anywhere in North America, we're going to be available. And if you happen to need something and your Eastern store is closed, well, we can hook you up and pick up the slack in the LA and in the Pacific branches to basically make sure that you get things when you need them. So make sure that you take a look at all of those different opportunities and all of the different locations and make sure that you sign up with a sales rep today. But one more thing that we need to talk about before we get into our Sennheiser 75-year promotion where we bring in our guests today is we do need to talk about a stock alert because I know that this is a very hot ticket item. And if you guys don't know what this is, this is the Tentacle Sync Track E. It is in stock now. I would love for you guys to take this out and put it underneath your tree. This is an incredible product for people that need to record for podcasts or documentaries, or you're just doing your own little projects. Or even, you know what, a lot of people have been giving these presents to their kids because it's a great way for them to get started. So if you guys are interested, I don't know where to put this, make sure that you pick one up today. I've obviously got them in stock. We'd love to get to you one before Christmas. You can do it if you get one now. So without further ado, let's get back to our 75-year promotion from Sennheiser. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in our two guests. We have... Schwinn Arios, is that correct, Schwinn? <laughs> that is, Tom. Very good. And we also have Tom Salisbury. How are you guys doing today? I'm great. Very good. I'm great. Well, guys, I want to switch back to Schwinn for a little bit. Schwinn, tell me mm -hmm. a little bit more about this 75-year promotion and what's going on at Sennheiser right now. Okay. Uh, my name is Schwinn. I'm the local representative for uh, Sennheiser, so I help out the uh, West Coast True Audio, and I help, you know, anytime they have any particular questions as far as, you know, helping other clients, you know, if they have specific needs within their shoot or what they're trying to accomplish, I'm usually the first person they uh, help out with, and I've been able to interact with some of you and uh, help you out that way. So what we're doing now is we are experiencing our 75th year um, anniversary. We've been working, we've been in the industry for 75 years handling everything from you know people have known us from stage but with you guys you know us from the broadcast world so we've actually recreated some of the uh, 75 year promotions to actually address some of the things that you guys deal with and the products that you use within the broadcast side and we've tied it into the um, holiday sales that true is running right now that is great Absolutely. And why don't you talk to us? Uh, so we have a few of the items that are in this sale that we're going to talk about today, right? With one of them being mm -hmm. the E965. Is that correct? Yes. Very that good. Hey, Thomas? Yeah. 
Uh, this is Tom. Sorry. Can I uh, just drop in and give you a little background on the 75 years? I would love um, to. Yeah, please. It's an important milestone. Uh, mm -hmm. The company was formed in uh, Germany in 1945 by Professor Dr. Fritz Sennheiser and uh, started out making volt meters and electronic equipment and then quickly shifted to microphones. And from there, all kinds of products along the way in our 75 years. And of course, acquiring Neumann in 1991. So it, what I want to emphasize is that it's for 75 years been a family owned company. Uh, in the 80s, the uh, professor doctor handed it to his son, Dr. Jörg uh, Sennheiser. And in probably six, seven years ago, um, it was handed to the grandsons of the founder, if you will. Um, uh, Daniel and uh, Dr. Andreas Sennheiser. So it's a family-owned company, has been, will continue to be forever, hopefully. And that sets the tone for the company. And I just wanted to emphasize that, that being a family-owned company, we're not worried about quarterly shareholders and things like that. There's more of a vision into the future. So the development of products, the way the company's handled is is a very a specific and emphasizing quality over the long term and i think that's what people have come to expect from sennheiser and of course we're not doing a lot of celebrating in our 75th year here <laughs> right um but um but we do celebrate in internally let's say in our heads so uh, that's a little background of that and, and it's still uh, the company headquarters in the same location where dr sennheiser founded it in a little farmhouse in Wiener Bastel, Germany, outside Hanover. And of course, it's a much bigger place than a farmhouse now and a huge mm -hmm. campus. So uh, that's some background. What incredible history. And you know what? I honestly, that hits a lot of, uh, it hits home a little bit when you say uh, family because True Audio mm -hmm. is a growing family as well in terms of, you know, we have Glenn True, the owner, and his son just came on board as well and is helping with a lot of the endeavors and pushing us forward and into the future as well. So we're kind of, you know, taking on the trails. We don't have 75 years yet, but we'll catch up on you one of these days, okay? <laughs> awesome. So, Schwinn, why don't you talk a little bit more about the 965, and then we'll kick it over to Tom to talk a little bit more about the specs. Yeah, so the 965 is actually a really great microphone. Uh, very, very versatile, so you can use them for, you know, interviews as well as stage use. Uh, once again, it is a condenser microphone, so you'll get a lot of nice detail that comes out of it. You need what, phantom power for this puppy. Yes, you do. That's right. Yep. yep. And what's also nice too is it does have switchable polar patterns. So, for example, if you need a, if the area is a little noisier and you need to tighten up the pattern so you don't pick up a lot of extraneous noise, you can actually go ahead, like Thomas just did, pull off the uh, grill on there and switch it from there from a cardioid to a super cardioid, uh, super cardioid pattern. So that's nice there. We also have the uh, 10 dB attenuation. So if you wanted to just bring down some of the uh, noise because it's a loud area, you can do that also. Um, one of the also nice things about it is we do have a uh, low cut switch on there. So any rumbling that's happening, any handling noise, um, any outside noise that's out there, we can go ahead and pull that out of your interview when you use this microphone. So a really great microphone, very, 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 very sturdy um, in its construction and gives you that very nice tone of a uh, condenser microphone in your hand. I was going to say, this is definitely not the microphone that you want to give to a comedian and drop the mic. Uh, this is a beautiful <laughs> microphone. It's heavy. And heavy, to me, means good. All this really lightweight stuff nowadays really bugs me because people don't understand. If you want something to sound warm and you really want to capture the soul of that performance, you, you really need to have some really heavy components in there to make it sound warm and good, right? Right. And to be and to have a durable case, and that's some of the weight there. Um, the uh, to add on to what Schwinn has said, um, it is a one-inch uh, large diaphragm condenser microphone. So it's really the equivalent in your hand of uh, of a large diaphragm recording microphone, and it has that kind of uh, warmth and quality. Again, very sensitive, uh, used by a lot of uh, a lot of jazz artists and classical artists. Um, are, are really love this microphone because again it, it brings out all the nuances 
the whispers and the and the dynamics of their voices, and you can see the frequency response there um, in both the cardioid and the supercardioid uh, patterns that you can choose. So that's probably the the uh, biggest point is that you have basically a recording microphone that you can hold in your hand. Um, so very very good for for um, many applications. And of course, again, requires 48 volts because it is a true con true condenser microphone. Um, the body is designed in such a way as to really reduce handling noise, which can be a problem for, uh, you know, your, if as you know, your basic Neumann microphone that you, you wouldn't take out and use on stage as easily because there would be handling noise. It's not designed for that, but this is designed for the use on stage um, as as a um, performance microphone, and it's an incredible incredible mic. It sounds so good. In fact, I'm going to switch over here for a second. So if everyone just bears with me, I'm going to bring this down. And this is the sound of the 965 right now. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Say again. 20 to 40K. I'm sorry, 40 to 20K. The other way around. Right. 20 hertz, uh, 40 hertz to 20 Okay. Sounds very, very clean. Uh, what's the dynamic, uh, the SPL level of this microphone? Huh. Testing one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do this from memory, but I believe it's 110 dB SPL. I mean, I guess Maximum I can bring SPL. it up here too. I've got the sheets for everybody okay. here. Maximum sound pressure level passive, 142 decibels. Absolutely okay. incredible. This thing can take a lot. Um, so this is going to be able to take any singer that you throw in front of it. That is for sure. Yeah, well, especially when you're using the pad. Um, if you have somebody that's really loud, you can use that 10 dB uh, yep. pad and uh, let them scream their head off. <laughs> One of the great things about this microphone that I'm noticing is because it has that switchable pattern, you have the ability to adjust depending on your performance. You know, if you're doing interviews uh, like on a red carpet line, you may want to use the super, super cardioid uh, pattern where... For example, if you're singing on a stage, you know, having that wider pattern might, you know, help you. So, you know, having, oh, oh wow, God, listen to that rejection too. Testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, 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 one. Wow. That's, and what do I have it set at? Okay, so that's the super cardioid. So that, that is incredible how it just completely goes away. It completely goes away until I'm scooped right in front of it. And now, and uh, it's on promo, right, Schwinn? Yes, it's it's on promo, it's right? Price on it. Yes. <laughs> uh, typ typically, the 965 uh, sells. Uh, you'll find it for about 4.99. Right now, it's on sale for 2.99. So that's a you know that's about a 40 percent uh, no, yeah, almost a 40 percent savings on it. To get a microphone. Oh, I guess I should bring up my other microphone now. Here we go. There's the other guy. Hi, guys. Uh, to, to have a microphone that sounds that good for, uh, you know, any type of thing that we're doing in production, you know, there are so many times that you need a handheld microphone, and to have one this robust, this clean, and that versatile yeah. is really going to help you. Instead of having multiple microphones, you could have just, you know, one microphone that does multiple things. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes keeping the uh, pack out uh, a little light helps out, too. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, that's great. So, um, what should we do? Do you guys want to move on to the next product? Uh, sure. Yeah, we could do that. <laughs> awesome. And in fact, th this next product, I'm wearing it right now. It is the HD300 Pros. And before we talk about it, I, I have to say you guys are doing absolutely incredible in your marketing campaigns. Um, you guys have a commercial that I just want to take a moment to show everyone. So, take a look at this commercial on these headphones. We'll be right back. You may wonder what a crying baby has got to do with a headphones experiment. Well, it's not necessarily the baby we wanted to focus on, but its mother. Yeah, she's all right. Three months today. Who practically cannot hear her. Already. At least not now, since she's on the phone with her long lost friend using an HMD 300 Pro. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's pause and rewind a little bit here. We. 
We did not make a newborn child cry on purpose, okay? We simply asked its mother to come out here to help us test headphones and headsets. That is what happened, okay? Linda is a professional in the broadcast industry. She's a director's assistant in multicam studio environments. Set her bottle. Since she just gave birth to a beautiful daughter, she's laughing. Linda's on parental leave, and so she's got time to help us out. Yeah, we got a little crib here if you want. Yeah. After mom and baby settled in, we gave Linda an HMD 300 Pro to do some tests with. Comfortable? Yes. Okay. The HMD 300 Pro supports professionals involved in broadcasting with several smart solutions. Its pressure-sensitive design offers outstanding wear and comfort even during extended sessions. Together with its effective passive ambient noise attenuation and proven structure-borne noise decoupling, the HMD 300 Pro offers substantially more performance than you would expect at that price. The speech and sound quality are of just as professional a standard as the hearing protection facilitated by a switchable active guard. A switchable active guard. Now that is a feature that will protect your ears from audio peaks. You see, if this would be a graphical representation of the audio that goes into your ears, you see that there are audio peaks. Well, an active guard will cut away the peaks as some sort of compression. Result? Audio that does not exceed the 110 dB barrier. Okay, back to our little experiment. First step was to let Linda relax. I like your experiments, boys. <laughs> Second step was to check the audio quality, so we let Linda listen to some music. Sounds good. And as we wanted to test the audio quality of the talkback, as a surprise, we connected the headset to Linda's long-lost childhood best friend. Here we go. Hi, Mary. Is that you? Is that really you? Is this part of a test? Yeah. yeah, yeah. How are you, Mary? Yeah. <laughs> As our tests were proceeding, we came up to a semi-expected, though completely unprepared situation. And are you married now? With... Yeah, with Tom. <laughs> As Linda was chatting away with her friend, her baby woke up and decided to call for action. <laughs> Uh, because of our little situation here, we thought we'd have to start over with the testing. But then we thought, maybe that's exactly what these headphones and headsets are all about. They're very comfortable to wear, they got great sound, great shielding. And if you don't necessarily need a talkback microphone, this is the HD300 Pro. Same features, no talkback. So beware. Using these headsets and headphones could cause some neglect and bad parenting behavior. But if you're looking for headphones and headsets that actively protect your ears and offer the best audio quality possible. She eats very well, she sleeps very well. Yeah. Check out the HMD 300 Pro and the HD 300 Pro. She's hungry. She's feeling my boob. Yeah. Tom, I'm going to cut back to you and say, what an amazing commercial. I am touched. I've got goosebumps everywhere, but I do have to ask a silly question. Is the baby okay? Because he should really <laughs> give it back to the mother. What do you think? Yes, I think I think the baby is fine, and, and there probably isn't his mother either. <laughs> yeah, probably right. But, uh, the baby seemed uh, seemed fine in in this, uh, and will be paid residuals forever. So. For sure, <laughs> nice. Well, gotta love those residuals. Absolutely, college well, money. Yeah. <laughs> 
There so to go. continue on, we've got the HMD 300s, and I'm sorry, I don't have the M in there. I apologize. I have a little typo myself, but you know, we obviously have the HD 300s. Those are the cans, and then you have the HMD 300 Pros. Those are the ones that I'm actually wearing right now. You can see that they are uh, very comfortable over the ear type of headphone with boom, and I can tell you right now they are absolutely comfortable. Are you wearing the same thing, Tom? Is that right? No, actually, I have a uh, uh, a set from our business uh, division, our former business division. So it's a little bit smaller. Well, mine um, are better. Okay, so I just want to I want to well, point that out. Yours are better in that in, in many 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 ways. Uh, the microphone is is much more high quality. They're designed specifically to be really comfortable over a long period of time. Uh, you notice on the headband itself that you have two pads up there mm -hmm. and a space in between. So there's no pressure on your your seam, if you will, of your skull, skull your fontanelle. And uh, that's really important. Um, I'll let Schwinn talk for a while because he's probably <laughs> prepared some things on this. Oh, yeah. So with the uh, HMD 300, they actually took the uh, audiophile qual sound quality from the uh, HD 300s and put it into a uh, head headset mic. Um, that we have here. So you have your cans with the boom mic, so you're going to get really awesome sound quality uh, from the uh, cans themselves, but we also have a really high quality microphone that goes along with it. And for people who've worked on show productions, you know, it's been a great thing because you'll be on, sh on set for quite a long time. And to have these on your head and be very comfortable and sound great and be able to be heard very well is something that Sennheiser is very proud to have in the HD 300s, you know. And also with with the uh, you know, like we mentioned in the in the uh, ad, was that we do have uh, passive uh, ambient noise attenuation. So you know, when things tend to spike out, and you know, a lot of us we you know, make our living with our ears, with our hearing. Uh, we want to protect that as much as possible so we can actually limit that down to about 110 dB to keep your, to keep your ears protected while you're working. We want to protect that as much as possible so we can actually... Apologies for that. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we definitely want to protect it as much as possible because, you know, uh, we work with our ears also, not just our, you know, not just our eyes and our hands. And it's, we find it very multi-purpose, so you could use them for uh, studio shoots, you can use them for um, show production, but one of the things I've actually found them to be very great for is in a very growing market called podcasting, kind of like we're doing right now. So, you know, where the speaker can actually have the earphones and they can hear, all the speakers can hear each other, but you have a nice quality microphone along with it. So with that being said, you know, you don't have to have the, uh, what I find, find common on some podcasts is the proximity effect, where someone will have a mic in front of them, and if I were to turn to the person next to me and ask them a question, that question will not be heard because of the directionality of the microphone or how close and how far I am. Using an HMD 300 Pro on a podcast scenario, your mic is right there. You can speak exactly. comfortably. It's going to be that yeah. far away all the time, mm -hmm. no matter where you're going to be. So yes. it's always going to be on access and direct, not changing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we, we found that the uh, HMD 300 has been a very uh, a very good option for people who are doing podcasts. Um, and, you know, they get their great sound quality. They get, um, you know, the great sound quality from the headphones and the microphones. So... Well, we've been telling people to, you know, really look at it as, as an option for them. And with the way it connects, it just connects off to your audio interface for your podcast, and you are good to go. Yeah, I, I cannot yeah. stress that enough about the fact that having balance issues in a podcast, it just, mm -hmm. it turns me off immediately. So, like you said, like if you're using wires and they have different gain structures and things like that, or they're put on yeah. different places, or they're, somebody's yep. scratchy and there's... It's just too much. If you get these yeah. headphones and everybody just sounds pure and clean, it's an easier edit. Your your audience is going to like it better, everything. Mm -hmm. Tom, what were yep. you going to say? Well, I just want to uh, add that, of course, everyone expects, and then this is due to Sennheiser's work over the years, they expect excellent sound quality from the headphones, right? We've been doing this for a very long time. Uh, they expect very good sound quality from the microphones. We've been doing that for a very long time. That's what we do, headphones and microphones. Um, but there's a but 
Sennheiser understands uniquely the professional environment. So there are consumer products out there with microphones and stuff for consumers. This is for a professional environment. So you have uh, things that have been designed in, like the comfort, no, keeping in mind that these will be worn for a very long time. There are a lot of consumer headphones that get very uncomfortable after a couple of hours. These will not. The pads are designed with such a mesh design that uh, they'll be comfortable. The uh, active guard that um, Schwinn mentioned that uh, is for hearing protection can be switched on and off, so you have that choice. Um, the boom can be switched to either side, so you have that professional option as well. And these are features that are in professional products that are not in business okay. products like the one I'm using. Does I can't switch the boom around. Um, so uh, very good for that. You notice that there's a little coil underneath the detachable cable. So you can replace that cable if it wears out. Cables are usually the only thing that does wear out. That little coil protects it from uh, uh, structure-borne noise. So noise from fiddling around or moving around with uh, uh, in the cable getting up into the into the microphone itself. That's added protection and isolates the microphone so you don't get that structure borne noise. Um, the features like that and the detachable cable, all, all of these things, a lot of uh, experience that Sennheiser has in the professional space, in the broadcast space, has come into play with these uh, with this headset and again it's an HMD the M standing for microphone in the German nomenclature so as opposed to the, simply the HD which is the headphones only so uh, uh, highly recommended and, and very very good product very comfortable very yeah. isolating I, I can second that, Perfect. the fact that I would absolutely be able to do a live stream all day with these and not just be like, oh, I want these off of my head. They're, they're so much more comfortable. Mm -hmm. It's like putting a cloud on your head instead of it getting squeezed. Um, so I definitely like that aspect of it for sure. And before we leave this product, one more mention, it, there is a single-sided version available, the HMD301. So a lot of camera guys and stuff like to have just the one ear. Oh, great. Uh, yeah, so if you have the camera here and you just want to have the one side here without the, the cup. Right. Exactly. Okay, yeah. very good. So we yeah. can uh, take a look at all of those product uh, model numbers at trueaudio.com if you guys need them. And, you know, another thing to let everyone know about these is it does have the replaceable cable. It has that coily, but you can also replace this cable. God forbid it gets chewed up or old or broken. You just want to get rid of it. That's what the cable looks right there, and it just kind of just clicks in and screws into the bottom. So that's great because yeah. before you'd have to send it into a service technician and spend a lot more money to have them solder something onto your headphone and destructively mm -hmm. do it, where now you can just pop it off and pop another one on. Yes, and I'd actually kind of also like to add that um, – with different scenarios, you may need different types of connectors on there. So instead of, like you were saying, having to custom do a uh, connector on there, we actually have different ones. Like, for example, the one that comes with the uh, HMD300 is the XLR with the uh, quarter inch. So quarter inch for the headphones, XLR for the mic side. For some of your more professional situations, situations we have it with the x4f which is a four pin xl um xlr connector for more, more of your um communication devices um you know like onset comms we have those available there too there's basically a cable for every purpose that we've uh, found out there so uh, yeah, as well as uh things we haven't thought of there are pigtails available so yeah you can, you can and put your own you know, we actually have a couple questions here. I have one. It says, I just got the HMD 300 X, uh, XQ2. Sorry, a little bleh. What is the foam yep. that Thomas is using? So I'm going to show my foam here just so you guys can see. I'll be honest, I don't know. I would have to look it up uh, unless if you guys know off the top of your head. The windscreen? Yeah, do you guys about? know what the model number of this foam is? And in fact, yeah, it's, it's oh, definitely on there. It's a nice one. Usually it's an MZW something, so I'd have to look it up too. <laughs> these okay, are, these are parts. Yes, yeah. you know, boom for sound. I will look this up for you and make sure that you get that information. So just I'm I'm the one that'll get it for you. Uh, stand by. Right. We're gonna look it up. You know how those model numbers get long and funky, so we'll take yeah. care of that for you. Mm -hmm. That is honestly, I can tell you that I, I've 
this is probably one of my favorite headsets that I've used in terms of the quality, the warmth of my of my voice, and just the, the, the comfort factor. I'm telling you, it's not messing up my hair either. I like that. I can put it a little bit angled back because I don't like putting the headphones in front. I like to put them a little bit farther back. So, you know, I can adjust this way and still get the headphone where I need it. These are really, yeah. really nice. And the cable is nice and clean, um, strong. I don't think you're ever going to have a problem. And like you said, they have all different types of cables available. It's amazing. Guys, what do we have next? What do you want to talk about next? Um, well, one of the uh, new things, uh, one of the other um, special promotions and celebration of our 75th anniversary is the Evolution 100 G4 series. Which we have on special right now. Hey Jay, uh, Schwinn. Yes. Sir. What was the price on the HMD three hundred? Oh, the uh, HMD three hundred. Uh, typically, if you're going to go for the uh, the XQ two cable, uh, that is on promo right now for two forty nine instead of a uh, instead of a standard price of uh, standard selling price of three hundred dollars. But the nice thing also is if we are looking at the uh, X4F connector, the 4-pin XLR connector for your broadcast situations. Uh, the headset and the uh, cable would normally sell for about 370 That is actually on sale also for 249 Oh, wow. Yep. Cool. And if you wanted to do the HMD301, the uh, one-sided uh, headset for all, you, uh, for all the camera guys out there with the uh, X4F connector, that has normally sells for about 339 um, we made it very easy, so all the HMD 300 and 301s are on sale for 249 Amazing. And guys, if you guys are interested in picking any of these up, just contact us at one of our True Audio locations. We'll be happy to help you out. They're available on this Happy Holiday Sale. Obviously, it would be nice just to contact one of the sales reps. You can find out exactly which one that you need. They'll order it and get it to you. Very yeah. good. So next, uh, we are talking about the EW100, the G4 systems, right? Yep. Very, 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 very popular amongst the, amongst the, the uh, filmmakers and broadcast, broadcast people. Uh, it takes the technology of our Evolution G4, but puts it in a very portable package. So, you know, you can camera mount or body, the uh, transmitter and the receivers are um, body pack style. So very very portable you can run up to about eight hours of life on there so it is a true diversity system in which you could get the best quality best uh, audio uh, radio um, signal that you can get off of there and it, they're just great we have up to uh, 20 compatible channels in a 42 wide bad megahertz uh, bandwidth and available in several different ranges so dependent on where you are uh, working within the uh, United States, one frequency bandwidth will work out better for you or the other. So it's been a really, really great system, um, and been one of the choices. Been one of the choice for a lot of the people who are getting into uh, getting into film, uh, capturing audio through uh, wireless means uh, for film and broadcast, uh, and a very great price point. Uh, without getting into the higher end uh, price points that are out there. I'm sure, Thomas, a lot of your customers are familiar with this because uh, Evolution really changed changed the world when it first came out about 20 years ago. Absolutely. Um, to, get, to get this kind of radio frequency performance, RF performance, in this kind of price range. And many, many uh, uh, field reporters and, and field operations for uh, television stations all over the country use this uh, because, again, they can. it's super reliable. It's Sennheiser, mm -hmm. great sound quality. Um, and... But it's you know it's it's relatively inexpensive. So depending on which series you get, and again, all of our products are, are wide band in in quotes. I know that words become uh, popular lately, yeah. but we've always designed with with uh, a wide range of uh, frequencies. As you move up from the 100 series, for example, and you get three EW 300 or EW 500, you get 88 megahertz wide. So again, you can get many more channels. Uh, but Often, you're just using one, right? You're out there and you just need one channel. I want to mention that in the 100 series, um, if you uh, get the, I believe it's the interview set or the film set, in the 100 series, you can get a uh, 
plug-on transmitter for microphones, so it will turn any dynamic microphone into a wireless microphone. And 90% of field reporters out there, or in most applications, you really don't need uh, phantom power. Uh, however, if you're going to boom, uh, use it for a boom, make a wireless boom, you need to move up to the 300 or 500 series where that mm -hmm. portable, where that plug-on transmitter does provide 48 volts uh, for phantom power for that, those condenser shotgun microphones. But again, super affordable, super rugged, lasts forever. Everybody that owns them knows that. Um, and again, compatible with FCC rules. Uh, where you are not allowed to use uh, above 50 milliwatts without uh, licensing and permission. So um, keep that in mind <laughs> because some of the other products do uh, go up to 100 milliwatts. And the main competitor um, of the plug-on transmitters is the uh, HMA from Electrosonics, a great product, but it's $1,300. And the plug-on transmitter for, for the wireless, or for, sent, for Evolution Wireless is ranges from, I believe, $499. You'll have to back me up on this one. I yeah. do pricing very well, but it's much less expensive, far yeah. less expensive. So um, keep that in mind. does everything that it does, except it doesn't the, do 100 milliwatts. Absolutely. <laughs> the biggest thing that I would say about the, the G3s and now the G4 systems is that reliable. That was the biggest word that I would say is that, you know, even with some of these other, you know, high, high end wireless systems, I'm not going to name names because like flat out, it happens to all of us. All, all gear breaks at some point, but sometimes when that super high sensitive gear gets dropped or gets broken, get the Sennheiser, it's going to work, you know? So yes. whenever you need a reliable wireless system, there's a reason why everybody has them. And even if they don't want to bring up that they have them, they do have them. So that's just something to know that these are systems that people have their entire their entire career, it doesn't matter if you're a beginning, intermediate, or professional, you can grow with this equipment. It's how you use it. It's the, you know, it's not the tool, it's the fool, actually. But let's get that right, right? <laughs> Couldn't have said it better. <laughs> exactly. Nice. So, anyways, let's, and we have some beautiful B-roll that we can, you know, put through here so you guys can see more of the parts. Do you guys want to talk a little bit about the parts as I get the case up on the table here? Okay. You want to take this time or should I? Oh, go ahead. Sure. Okay. So I'll just interrupt you occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, yeah, we, we do offer a wide range of uh, systems in which we can use. Uh, usually we start off with the EW112P, which is the body pack style transmitter with the body, uh, with the, uh, body pack style receiver. So you can put that onto your camera. And that comes with an ME2 lavalier microphone, which is an omnidirectional microphone. You know and... what? I'm sorry. I don't have that in the case, but it mm -hmm. does come with one. Apologies, guys. Unless if it's underneath. Maybe it's underneath. Oh, it is. Yep. Look at that. Layers. Love it. <laughs> Nice, and then we okay, and then we also have the one uh, one twenty two p, which is the exact same twelve thing as the one twelve the one twelve. The only difference is we have an ME four uh, lavalier microphone in there, but and the pickup pattern on that is cardier. So if you want something a little more directional, we have that. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and in some cases, you know, you, people do want to have the interview style with the. Uh, microphone. Well, we do have the EW135P, which is the uh, handheld transmitter with the 835 capsule on there. Nice, di nice sounding dynamic microphone capsule on there. Hey, Shwin, I'm sorry to interrupt yes. you. Uh, just because okay. we have a question from the, the audience here. Uh, somebody was asking, do you guys have a version with a USB connector? And I, I'm looking at the timestamp. I think that's when we were talking about the HMD. Do you guys have cables that will allow the HMD to plug directly into a computer via USB? Sorry to interrupt. Uh, there is not a direct cable for that, um, mm -hmm. but there are interfaces, third-party interfaces that can be used to to do that. Um, it, it, because this is designed as a, a, a professional setup, and not to say that going directly into your computer isn't professional these days, because it certainly is quite common, um, but this would go into an interface first and then from the interface into your, your laptop or your yeah. computer. In fact, that's what I'm doing right now. I have the HMD uh, connected into a sound device's MixPre 10T. So uh, that's one of the reasons why, gosh, it sounds good. It sounds good regardless what preamp it's going into, but when you throw a sound devices in front of it, it sounds really good, too. A little commercial for sound devices, and I agree. Um, 
and audio interfaces are you know can be a wide range of prices are not these days very expensive to get started so yeah. not a problem and and will up your game quite a bit as opposed to going directly into your computer uh right through usb so mm -hmm. People are coming in with the questions. They're like, we got time now. Uh, someone <laughs> is saying, is the EW500 combo on sale? Can you confirm that? And then I'll send them to the holiday sale. Okay. The EW500 uh, is not on sale. Uh, for the one that we have on sale is the 100 series. Gotcha. Okay. So the 100 series are the ones that are on sale. They make great hops. You can, you know, use mm. them as IEMs if you needed to, if you needed to. Um, they're, they're like you said, they're a very versatile system. Um, what, one more. Just question. to mention on the IEMs, by the way, is that this is uh, the IEM setup is a great way to get two channels of IFB uh, in one package. Um, there are a, a couple of different ways and some some uh, features on there that really are are being uh, used quite a bit for IFB. So. Uh, what is the sale price of the EW100, like a, let's say a PG112, I mean an EW. Oh, an, EW, an EW112P, uh, that is actually on, uh, is actually $100 off right now. Typically they're $599. Uh, we have them on sale for $499. And, so. It's a, and the 112 again is the, like a system yeah. that we have here, the, the microphone, yeah with the body pack, transmitter, mm -hmm. and receiver. Yeah. Yes. I would mention too, Thomas, that there are a lot of YouTube videos of end users using uh, the the 112 uh, G4 and uh, showing how, how much uh, wind noise is reduced with the windscreen and various things like that. And I encourage your, your, your uh, listeners or viewers to uh, check some of those out because uh, they're, they're extraordinary and, and people love the stuff. So. Yeah. Definitely have to check out some of the videos on this so we can listen to the quality of the microphone and the system in general. I know that it, it's always been a very clean system. I haven't heard too much compression or companding that's going on. It's just what you hear is what comes out the other side. <laughs> so that's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. uh, also well said. <laughs> yes, it is. Tell me a little bit more uh, if you guys want to continue. I got the case off of my desk, so now mm -hmm. I can switch a little bit easier. Okay. Oh, there was just a uh, one more, one more uh, EW100 I wanted to talk about, and that's the uh, EW100 ENG. So that's the one with the plug-on style transmitter that you, has a receiver that is a uh, body pack style. So once again, great for film, great for wireless booms. Mm -hmm. um, in that situation, great for interview scenarios, like Tom was talking about taking a dynamic microphone, plugging it onto the uh, plug-on transmitter, and you know, you have a wireless mic set up at that point. So that's, yep, those are the ones we're talking about. Just a shameless plug for the M, uh, MD42 or 46 long-handled uh, interview mm -hmm. mics. Perfect yes. to put put the uh, plug-on transmitter on for a reporter or yep. other interview or otherwise. Uh, again, a longer handle, so for a better reach. Absolutely. Uh, very com commonly used out there by all the local stations and stuff. So. Yep. yep. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've actually watched a uh, you know, watch the news, and I'm looking at it. It's like, oh, okay, that's an HMD uh, 42 or 46 with a uh, Evolution plug-on transmitter on there. It's, it's very common in the uh, industry right now. All you right, see it every day. So we got an interesting question. I don't know if you guys are going to know this one or not. Maybe you do. Someone's literally asking about the cool case with all of the uh, the cutouts too. <laughs> they were like, "Can we buy a, a kit that has all of these cutouts?" How, how did you guys do this? By the way, well, we we had cust we custom make or have custom made those cases for us to uh, as demo cases. Mm -hmm. So um, that's something that they can do. I believe those cases are Gator, um, they, but they they would have to contact somebody like Gator or Pelican or any of the case makers. They will they will customize your your cutouts for you to to fit. Okay, um, so there's a bunch of companies that do this type yeah. of cutout stuff. Okay, yeah. cool. So Lloyd, not, all you got available do... as a product from us, if that's I guess. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, Lloyd, let's get honest. If we start doing custom molding like that for every single gear, everything's going to go up in price. So you know, this mm -hmm. way you can get your own case, your size, and then get it uh, molded uh, to your specific likings with your Sennheiser microphones, wireless, all of your cables, just the way that you want it. Um, just a good way to go. Good question. Yeah. 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 Guys, incredible, incredible 
products today. I want to thank you so much for joining in. Is there anything that you want to uh, tell our listeners before we head out for the day? Be safe. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Wear Be your safe. masks. <laughs> for Wash sure. your hands. Yeah. Let's mm-hmm. get this thing done. Let's get it over <laughs> with, you know, so we can yeah. have another 75 year or maybe a 76 year and 100 year in the future. What do you guys say? Absolutely. Yep, awesome. I totally agree. Guys, thank you so much for joining us today for True Audio Presents. We want to say thank you to Tom and Schwinn for joining us today and showing all of the products for the Sennheiser 75-year promotion. Guys, don't forget that if you'd like to pick up any of these products, you can take a look at our holiday sale page. We've got a banner right on the home page. Or you can call up any of our locations, which are on the screen now. We have locations in Nashville, Georgia, Los Angeles, Vancouver, and Toronto. So we're open all the times that you're going to be up during the day. We can help you out. And if you really want to take advantage of all of the deals during this holiday sale promotion, We have our True Audio credit card. It's a great way if you do enough purchases to get zero interest on your purchases up to 12 months free. So if you want to get a bunch of your deductions in early before the end of the year, this might help you on your taxes next year. So take a look at that. And the last thing that we do want to bring up is that on Thursday, we have Sure here at 10 a.m. So please tune into that. They're going to be talking about the Duraflex lavaliers. So again, thank you to Tom. And Schwinn from Sennheiser, we want to say we appreciate you, all of your knowledge. And guys, happy holidays. We'll see you in the new year. Same to you. Same to you. Thanks Thanks for having us. Absolutely. All right, everyone. Take care. Happy holidays. We'll see you on Thursday. there i see that there's some people that are still here on the live stream waiting so i want to let you guys know again we've got the tentacle sync track e in stock at true audio so if you guys want to get one of these underneath the christmas tree before they're all sold out and then you can't get them until the next year you can pick one up now they are in stock at all of your true audio locations so pick one up now take care Thank you.